Hello. I'm just out here tinkering, as usual. I figured this time, we gotta figure out the distance between the motor and the uh, spindle itself. And to do that, I need to make the pulleys. This one will be a two and a quarter inch. This will go on, it'll be bored out for the spindle back itself and have a keyway cut in it a quarter inch. And this one will be three inches, 700, yeah, 773 thousandths. What I'm trying to do is go from the 1670 RPM here and I want to I know I want 2800 here I don't want to go too slow because the wheels will be too soft and I don't want to go too fast because it will burn the cutting edges real bad for the real thin cutting edges I usually mess with for end mills and stuff it's also the size that the Corn, Bonnell, the Tinker, and all those work at. So I know I want the spindle to run at 2800 times the two and a quarter pulley that will go on it. Sixty-three hundred divided by sixteen seventy that the motor is. So three inches, seven hundred seventy two and a half or or three inches, seven hundred and seventy three thousandths. We're just gonna round up the nearest thousandths. And we will turn it down to that, cut the V groove, bore it for half inch, and we'll be good to go. Alright, let's go get started. Hey, okay, I just put a round nose tool in here. Uh, it's enough just to clean up the outside and I want to clean up I want to leave a nice fillet in the corner here so it's got plenty of strength because I don't want anything to ever happen to this thing. So I'm just going to clean this up this face, this face, this one and then a little bit of this one as a reference surface so I can chuck it up on or I can indicate off of to Turn it around. Cutting nice, but a little crappy finish, so increase the surf speed a bit. See how it likes this. Looks like it's almost cleaned up. Well, that sucks. Motor blew the belt off.
Okay. Got it all cleaned up. It's Ron knows did a pretty good job. It's nice and smooth. Nice little fillet in the corner. I added a little indicating recess on here. And as you can see, it didn't clean up all the way right here, but just wanted to get it cleaned up so it runs true. So before I do the flip it, because I got to flip the jaws, I got to clean this one up a little bit too. And we'll figure out what to do from there. Okay, I just indicated it off of the shelf here that I made. It doesn't matter if I go under size. I'm just shooting for two and an eighth, which was the largest size I could for a pulley that I could get out of this. Because I still gotta cut a seven eighths inch hole in the thing or bore it, and then cut a keyway in it, and then put the V groove in it also. So I was trying to make it as meaty as possible. But I can go down to inch and a eighth or two and an eighth to make the pulley out of so I still got plenty of material I'm about about 40 thou oversized so just clean up and we'll cut the groove Looks like we are Looks like we're thirty thou oversize. And yes I know the bit was tapering a little bit. It I'm just gonna switch to another bit now so that I can 
really rough it in and cut the groove all in one step. I get fed down 400 thousandths, so set the compound over at 17 degrees, which is angle you need for between two and a quarter and something, inch pulley, I forget, the machiner's handbook is on the table over there. We'll just set the compound over. There's the other 17. Tighten it all up again. Repeat and rinse. That's spot on, right where I want it. Nice good grip on it too. Now I'll drill, bore, put a key in. That is a very nice fit. Nice finish too.
have a little blowhole right there. That's gonna cause me trouble. Okay, got it bored to size and <laughs> come on <clears throat> yeah it's a tight fit so that's done now we just got to cut a keyway in it um, got to cut a quarter inch keyway so, I'm going to have to make some jig or something to do that. I got this. This just holds it straight out. And I've been just running it in and out to kind of broach the thing out slowly. I don't need a keyway all the way through. Just Take it little by little. I just have a normal tool bit with the factory grind just turned on its side so it's tilted in this way and tilted in that way so I got clearance yeah I know I should have clearance on top and bottom but it works fine without it I'm just doing this I have it set so that the angle is not going straight in it's actually at an angle like this so it's actually the chisel tip rather than just trying to push it so it's got clearance behind it here You just feed it in, and it's pretty easy to cut. It doesn't take very much time at all, actually, to do this. Okay, I got these done up. I had to remake this one. I still got to make a little bushing to go in between the front face of the pulley and the bearing but that's easy enough to do. I had to make a separate or a second pulley because I tried putting the keyway on to test it or the key in it to test it and it got stuck. I tried pulling it off and broke the pulley. Actually I got it off and then I tried putting it back on to adjust the key and yeah, it broke. I wasn't happy with that one anyhow. So I just made up a new one. It's not as long as the other one because I just chucked up one of these ingots and that's what I made it out of. This one here yeah, it's not having a good day. That one died, I had to redo that one. This one I had to almost redo it because the bore of it, it somehow moved on me. And it just wobbled. I have no idea how it moved, but when I bored it out, it had a wobble to it. So what I did, I just bored it out to three-quarter inch 
and put a three quarter inch piece of steel in it with some red Loctite in it, pressed it in, used a hacksaw to cut grooves around or notches all along it in different spots and just the, so the red Loctite had something to, to key into and just pressed it in and then bored it out and drilled through all of it put a 5 16 inch set screw to lock it on the shaft and that thing's never coming off reboard the bushing there so I don't have to worry about the thing going bad anymore it's been a crap week this is just of yesterday I went to weld up the column and my welder ran out of welding wire I got some new welding wire the liner that the wire feeds through this thing it shot the wire through the side of the liner and destroyed it it would no longer feed it so and at the same time it just tore up the coating on the outside so I had to tear the welder apart replace the liner rebuild the gun more or less because you couldn't find the right connectors or the right cable because mine's just a cheap Harbor Freight 90 amp and yeah had put nylon tubing over the everything so that it kept it from getting attacked by the splatter and stuff I did turn this down it just cleaned up the outside this is what the motor will run on but I just press this on and use a little stumpy bit of the alt thread put a center in it and jam nut assembly here I used it in the tail stock to support this thing to turn that down I got video of it here Okay, hopefully next time I'll have the welder fully up and running and we can actually start on the column and getting that machined up and get the other stuff machined up here because it's about time. I'm already getting people sending in packages of stuff to get sharpened so I gotta get this done. Okay, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for watching. See ya.